Okay, right. So, <laughs> try and um, yeah, get, 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 get my cues. Just give me, I'll give you a nod. Give me the nod. Yeah. Okay, so Catherine and Harrison um, presenting their pitch. High tail. High tail. So uh, after they pick up high tail. It's about a teenage girl whose parents have like recently died. It's about her like travelling um, away from, from her hometown to her grandparents in the countryside. Uh, the film opening will visually show both the, the journey to the countryside and the journey and the journey of her mind like back to her parents' steps, like sort of flashbacks. Uh, throughout the journey there will be scenic routes that will have relaxing connotations that will contrast with traumatic flashbacks of her parents' death. Okay, so our main character profile, obviously, teenage girl, so about our age, which is helpful because we know a lot of people. Um, Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> and uh, she's like socially normal, which links with our genre because it's a um, psychological thriller, and that's all about some kind of someone going from being normal to not so normal, as something's like getting into the head. So. That's a bit of like journey. <coughs> Next one. Um, so our film's called Hightail. So it's move or travel fast. So obviously something's happened with the parents' death and she's quickly had to travel to her grandparents so that they can look after her. So and it's also um, like the fast journey of her mind, so she's gonna struggle with parents death obviously and um, yeah <laughs> uh, these are the possible locations we're going to film part of it at the first start at obviously the girl's house and her journey to like on the train to the countryside so she's going to get off and like walk around when she's off the train walk around like all the scenic routes and eventually she's going to get to like her grandparents who live on the farm um, which we have yeah we so our strengths, um, the plot's relatively simple, so that means we can like really focus on um, where we're going to be filming it and all the scenic routes, which we want we want it to be like very aesthetically focused and everything to be good to watch. Um, we've got our actor in mind who will be um, good for the role and we've also got a singer in mind who like will come and record a track that it will go well with the opening. <coughs> uh, some of the difficulties will be like making the flashbacks look realistic mm. and not like, like fit, fitting in the while we're editing sort of explaining the parents' death and getting it across to the viewer, like, what's actually happened. Um, making it clear why the journey is being made, and some of getting, like, the scenic shots of her, like, travelling. So it's going to be difficult because, obviously, we're going to have to do, like, quite wide shots mm -hmm. of, like, cars, trains, so it's, like, quite, going to be quite difficult, but hopefully, all right. Yeah? Lovely. Okay. Any questions? Name. I don't actually know, but I don't think she like, needs a name because there's no one going to be talking to her throughout the whole opening because it's going to be like, focused on what's going on in her head rather than other people's. Okay. Yeah, what, what kind of stuff is actually going to be shown in the flashbacks? Well, we haven't actually decided how the parents have died because it's going to be quite difficult. We need to decide on an event that's. We think it may be like a house fire or something because it's. It, we can't obviously show much. So it's going to be like flashbacks yeah. of that event. Maybe she like was there and happened. Like so it's just like something that'll be quite easy to bring across why why they died rather than quite a complicated yeah. event. Um, you could always do this. 
you can always get like a, on YouTube, get like a, one of those news articles of what in 9 11 happened. Just get her watching that and pretend her parents died in 9 11. Like news, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, it's about, uh, it's, it's a great idea, it's a lovely, lovely idea, um, it's a question of how you, um, how much story you manage to get into it, isn't it, and how much, because, um, how, it's, how are you going to show that the reason why she's travelling is to get to her grandparents' house in Yorkshire? Tickets, stuff like that. I don't know, I'm going to, lots of it is going to not be much talking, maybe on the phone at the start or something, but I'm trying to not swerve to like talking so much. Yeah. So we want it to be quite, as I said, like visual. So we're going to have to show it. Which is could be like a voicemail messages, couldn't it? Could be like voicemail messages like saying like, where are you? You know, like people could be concerned about her, uh, like, um, is everything okay after what happened? Um, where have you gone? Everyone's worried about you. Um, those sorts of things, couldn't it? Yeah. So you could you could be possibly hearing those voicemail messages over the shots of the train and over the shots of the yeah. countryside. Yeah. And that could be that would be one, one way of doing it. Yeah. Because you always want to try and find those kind of like quick short shorthand sort of ways of um, providing. Um, Story. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, but it is a nice idea, and I can imagine it being really nice to look at and, and sort of visually, because you can really go to town on the scenic stuff, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Like it? Yeah, that's great. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. Um...